see if we can see our little friend the buffalo. It's pretty corroded on the backside, but the but the Native American is very visible here. Nice. You see him? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can. Don't do this at home, kids. All right, we're back on the island. I haven't been here in a long time. It's my buddy Daniel, AKA Monterey Magnet Man. There's the bridge to somewhere, totally not the bridge to nowhere. I actually know where it goes. Um, and a lot of fancy boats and a lot of people walking around. So I'm gonna see what we can find here. It says it's a 93, which is crazy high. And I'm not running all metal right now just because there's so much iron out here. Thick and dime. I don't see it yet. Oh, it may be. Is it a copper penny? Huh. No, I think it is a dime. Is there any chance it's a silver dime? I don't believe so. I think it's going to be a... Eh, it might actually be. But I cannot tell. I think it's going to be a clad dime, but I'm going to have to look at it a little closer at home. Pretty sure it's clad. It's definitely dark, but it's it's green. But I do get silver ones out here sometimes that are green, so there is a possibility. It's definitely been down there a long time. Yeah, I don't know. That's a maybe right there. I have to look at that a little closer. One of those beaches that absolutely quickly misfigures um, sink pennies to turn into rocks. 94, which is about where that one dime started. So it might be a deep. Might be a deep coin. Maybe. And it's deep, all right. Whatever it is. Okay, it's out. Sounds like a quarter, 86, 87. Yep, there's a quarter. Look, you can get bullet shells everywhere. 26, 27, maybe a nickel. Sounds very nickely. Ooh, it is nickel. How cool it'd be if it was a buffalo nickel. It is a buffalo nickel. I just said how cool it'd be if it was a buffalo nickel, and it really is. That is so cool. God, I'm stoked. I haven't found one in so long. Look at that. Let's see if we can see the buffalo on the back. Let's see if we can see our little friend the buffalo. It's pretty corroded on the backside, but the but the Native American is very visible here. Nice. You see him? Yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can. Don't do this at home, kids. Good thing I just drank some water, so now I'm all saliva it up. <laughs> Fresh. All right. Let's see if I can get a good shot of said 
There you can see his head right there. Yeah. It's hard to, yeah. I can He's see going it. the opposite direction. That's the one way you know. I could see it with my eyes, but I can't see it with the camera. Yeah, I think that it's going to be a tough one. And the, and the buffalo is really tough to see because it's got some serious coagulation on the back. Oh, yeah. But I'm stoked. Nice. That makes me really happy. I haven't found one in a long friggin' time. I walked right over my bucket list coin. All right. High tone, 88, 89. Should be a quarter. Not seeing a quarter yet, though. I'm gonna try it again. I'd be thrilled if it was a silver dime. I don't think it's gonna be a... Hey, that looks big. What is that? That's something big. What the heck is that? That is much bigger than a quarter, but it's smaller. I think it's smaller than a 50 cent piece. Oh, is it a dollar coin maybe? Did I just get the super cycle without working very hard? What the hell is that? Boy, I am trying to figure this out. I think it might be, is it a Susan B. Anthony maybe or something? Come on, what are you? I think that's what that is. Sacagawea maybe? All right, you with the good eyes. Sacagawea maybe? Super, super cycle? Super cycle time. Is that what that is? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what that is. Yep, dollar coin. Sacagawana. Sacagawana. Dude, check out Dan. You got a sweet Lambo. I think that's a Lambo. I don't know. It's some sort of. Looks Lambo ish to me. It does look Lambo ish. Or is it a Ferrari? I don't know. It's some sort of hot rod. Probably and it's got backwards flames, so if he's going this way, the flames will be shooting out the front. Pretty cool. <laughs> Graphic design fail. And I do also have a high tone in the high 80s right here. Come on, Silver Coin. How about that? That's what I'm shooting for. I'm shooting for silver. Although I'm not unhappy with the buffalo nickel or the dollar coin. Did the buffalo ring in like a regular nickel? Totally, total 27 to 28. Oh, 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 are you ready for this? I don't think you are. Am I not? I have a card. I have a car spill. Oh, look at you, lucky guy. I have a car spill. I don't know if I've gotten one of these in a long time. Toilet bowl car. It's a car. toilet car. Yes. Toilet car. Nice. Right? Vroom, vroom. Poop, poop. And some sort of super fast purple you know what's funny is you and i got the exact same hot wheel one time oh you yeah that? yeah look at that miles apart dang the car toilet spill one? the toilet car though toilet car's pretty bad <laughs> i don't think the world's ready for the toilet i car. don't think they are either oh. so i started filling my hole in and i realized i missed the third car of the coin spill so it's actually three cars in one coin spill this one's wheel is coming off on the back so it's gonna be very short lived. What have we got? What have we got? Oh. Oh, those things are everywhere out here, by the way. Electrical connection. Daniel just got electric connection. Okay. Electrified. Well, that was a lot of cars in one hole. Kind of wondering if this is gonna be another car. It's an 83. But it doesn't sound. It sounds large. Well, yeah, now it sounds like a coin. Well, I think it is a coin. It is a coin. Boy, this thing is hammered. Been out here a long time. Oh, it'd be kind of cool if this was a, I think it's a copper penny and it'd be cool if it was a, a uh, weedy or maybe I found a couple of them out here. It'd be really cool if it was an Indian head. Um, I cannot for the life of me tell you what this thing has on it. Okay, it's definitely Lincoln. 
Let's see if I can figure out what's on the back of it. And I think it might be, probably have to get the guy with the good eyes over here, but I think that's a weedy. And I'm pretty certain that that's what that is. I think it's a weedy. Will you look at that? Yeah. It is? Absolutely is. Yeah. Daniel says yes, that is a wheat penny. Sweet! This thing's pretty loud. I'm thinking 68, I'm thinking copper penny. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, did I see something? I think I did. I think I saw another copper penny. I did. Um, see if I can see what it is. I'm trying to help, hopefully help Daniel find a nickel. Isn't that right in the right territory for you? Uh, I think that one has a memorial, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a memorial I just saw. No, well, maybe not. Actually, I think that's another weedy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's another wheat penny, actually. I don't have good eyes look, but I'm pretty sure it's another weedy. Another weed? Is that what that is? Yep. Another wheat penny. Spy with my little eyes. 89.91, and I think I see another car. <laughs> I do. Pretty blue. Pretty blue, and I think it's a car's car. It is a car's car. I think I got a couple of targets here. I think, I think there's, there might be one of my scoop right now. Oh, there's another copper penny. Let's see. So far we're at two Wheaties. Um, I wish my eyesight was way better than it is because I'm not entirely sure. That one's a memorial. I can see it. There's another coin right next door. At least sounds like a coin. 78.80. I'm thinking dime. Well, I think I see it actually right there. And I think that's going to be a clad dime. Okay, I got a 66 to 69, maybe another copper penny. Hmm. Seems like it's a little off center, which yeah, I think I may have it. Oh, now it's 74, so I'm still kind of thinking. Still kind of thinking, copper penny. And I think I see it, and I think it is a copper penny. And did this the scratch test, which if you're somebody who finds really good old coins, probably shouldn't do that. Um, I can't tell if that is, I think I see a memorial on there. I do. It's another memorial. Pretty sure there's going to be another car here. Yep. It's another car. Vroom, vroom. Maybe even another one here. It's definitely something else down here. Making a lot of noise. Fifty-five is kind of low for a car. I'm thinking zinc penny. Oh, and I think I see a horribly disfigured zinc penny. It's now become a rock. Thinking another Hot Wheel maybe. Oh, wait a minute. It actually might be a bunch of fishing weights. 
Hold on, I think I just saw a bunch of fishing weights. Oh no, it's actually some sort of really weird mouse car or rabbit car. Okay, the fishy, one of the oddest ones, that and the toilet car kind of are winning weirdest cars. All right, we got an 83 to 84. So in here, probably a dime. Oh, now it's an 89, maybe it's a quarter. Maybe. Not seeing anything yet. Is that it? Is it a bullet shell? I think that's exactly what it is. I think it's a bullet shell or something. It's a big piece of copper. I think it's a bullet shell, but I'm not totally sure. It's getting a little dark out here to tell. Oh, no. I'm literally underneath the dock right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm inclined to think that's going to be iron. All right, I'm going to fill all these holes in and move on over to a new spot. This spot is not producing I'll just kind of give you guys a gander what I'm dealing with here <laughs> no diving and no jumping some kids fishing out there though all right all right 76 to 80 72. Well, I think it's a fishing weight. You see a one ounce. I think it's a two ounce actually. Fishing weight. Nice. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. A little jewel reaction. Heck to the yeah. It's a weird one. Yeah, it's like a series of circles. An Olympic earring. Oh, it is. And you can dive through them, light them on fire. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, what's the little dudes on there? A little, does it have like some sort of little... Oh, it says Chemin de Fur. Oh yeah, it is a Chemin de Fur. It's a oogly baton. Well, back at the beach. Just a little afternoon hunt. Um, kind of hoping, uh, hoping some of the sand's moved. Last couple times I've been here, the sand has been quite frankly awful. Um, they just moved all this sand. A lot of it they actually bring from the other side of town and bring it all over here and uh, make these giant berms about 20 feet tall to protect the houses from the winter storms. Uh, this beach in particular, when a northwest swell hits, is uh, quite vulnerable to extreme flooding and everything else. So kind of hoping to meet Jim here don't see him yet. That doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot. Um, he should be right behind me. Oh, no, I see him way down there. He is down the beach. So I'm gonna head that way. Well, I did hook up with Jim. He's up there in the dry, kind of semi-dry. It's not really dry. All the sand has been moved around um, recently. So, uh, Really hasn't been a lot of targets, but we shall try. We we're just talking about how horribly cold it is, and it's got to be what 73, 74, maybe. It definitely just got just climbed under 75, and actually, it's yeah, it's cold. it's the warm. Cold. Standing still, it's warm, but you know, look out here. I mean, this is just absolutely 
It's disgusting. It's, it's disgusting. Horrible. Look at that awful. Uh, I'm just saying this. This is this is why we pay the big bucks. Um, these little boats out at anchor out there. Just so pretty and serene out there. Really, really doesn't get a lot, a lot prettier. A little family on the beach playing down there. We had some military guys over here doing some sort of training. They're gone. And uh, yeah, so if we don't find a single thing, we found this. Well, I did just get this cool little piece of sea glass. It looks like a shark's tooth. Really hideous, uh, looks to be part of a spoon bowl maybe. It's a uh, long since disintegrated. Oh, surface find. I know exactly what that is. Those are child's sunglass earpiece. Well, I was convinced this was iron out of that big hole over there, and now it's saying it's a 75. So it could be a dime or a zinc penny or something. It's a dime. Very yellow dime, but it's a dime nonetheless. Alright. How's that for small? Wait. I gotta ask Jim. I almost think that might be a little piece of silver. I don't know. Well. Stone in it at one time, huh? Well, it kind of almost looks or like it might be a little. <laughs> it looks like it might be a, maybe a little piece of silver. I don't know. I don't know. I know this. It's small, really, really small. Maybe a high tone. I think it's going to be iron. I heard a little bit of grunting. Still give me a little bit of high tone, but I really think it's uh, just iron. Well, it really is trying to act like a high tone now. Sounding like a tent stake. Or a nail. That should be out. <laughs> now it sounds like a coin. I think it's gonna be a dime. That's crazy. Wow. Really, Jim and I were just talking about this a minute ago and how a few of our friends don't necessarily dig the iron stones and it is a dime dime number two all right that is one tiny little i think maybe an earring something like that i don't know what that is i don't know it's weird it's got like a little twist on the end of it pretty weird all right, I think I might have another coin out of that uh, hole right there. Maybe, maybe a zinc penny maybe? Yep, zinc penny. Ooh, maybe even spendable. All right, real solid high tone. I'm not getting a lot of grunt with it, so I'm encouraged by it. It's a 98, Let's see if you guys can see that. 98.99. Now normally that high, I don't like it, but uh, I will tell you, this is sounding very straightforward and high tony. All right, should be out. Sixty-one, sixty-two, probably another zinc penny. Really landing in the zinc penny territory. 
Well, I'm just dropping a scoop. Yep, another zinc penny. Maybe spendable? Why ain't that one spendable too? Okay, this is a low tone. Six, seven. I'll let you guys listen to this. See if you can hear it with the waves. Pretty sure it's going to be can sloth. There's a lot of it around here. Sounds great. Again, I'm pretty certain. Oh, that's actually a watchback. Yeah, that's better than Canslaw, in my opinion. Uh, there's some writing on there. I can't see what the brand is. But uh, yeah, watchback. Well, it's a ring. <laughs> it's just a, I don't know if that was a junk earring at one point in time or what. But it's junk for sure. I see my nemesis. A plastic bottle cap. I already picked up one earlier and didn't film it, but yeah. Gatorade, so quenching. Come on, Gatorade. Why don't we jump on some sort of a program where you put a little leash on these guys so they don't fall off the bottle? How cool would that be? Cost you a penny to save uh, part of the environment. Well, Jim and I are busy uh, sorting out the world's problems. I do think I have a high tone here. 97, 98, which most of the time is iron, but I don't think this is for some reason. Ooh, now it does sound like iron. You should have made it a would you dig it. Oh, I should have made it a would you dig it, damn it. That's all right. Yeah, well, we'll uh, if I find another target, we will. Yep, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say quarter. Well, at least you got a quarter. I'm gonna say quarter. It was all iron. All I need is a nickel for the cycle. Well, this will mean I need a nickel for the cycle because I didn't have a quarter until just now. Ooh, wait a minute. Ah, psych. Color was so good. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a dollar coin? I don't think that's a dollar coin. That's not George. That's not George. Oh, I, I was on the whole time. Idiot. Yeah, that's not George. Yeah, that's gonna be a dollar coin. That would have been a great would you dig it? Oh, gosh. <laughs> that certainly would have been. Well, there you it go. It sound super good. Not iron. It didn't sound great. It sounded like iron. So I got a negative one. I have a negative one <clears throat> right here. So would you, would you dig this? That's the question. So what do you got over here? Get a negative one. Okay. I go this way, it is negative 11 to 17. Negative one to negative 15. Would you dig it? That right. Would you dig it for a $20 Amazon gift card and a Thanksgiving Day special? All right, you guys got a guess what Mike's Okay, negative up. 13 to negative 19 still. Negative 19? Negative 13 to negative 19, but it is, it is giving a little bit of a chirp. They should be out. Negative 13, negative 14 still. 
There's a low tone right here, by the way. What do we think? What, you, what is it out of the hole? Negative 13 out of the hole as well. Boy, that is quite interesting. Huh? It's interesting. That's what happens when you cross an elephant and a rhino. <laughs> Elephino. All right. All right. 11 to 12 on an Equinox 900. 900, okay. It wasn't. So the tide's supposed to be going out. Okay, I'm going to go 90 degrees. What are you at, 90 degrees? 10. 10 on the Equinox 900. Ooh, buddy! Oh, yeah! All right, here we go. $20 Amazon gift card for the Thanksgiving Day special. Comment below what you think it is. Should be in the scoop. It's in the, it's in the pile. 11, 12 out Ooh, of the hole. Real quick. Oh my god, that sounds good. So good. Be good to Mike. Be good to Mike. Come on. Be good to Mike. Oh, it sounds amazing. Oh, I see. Stainless steel watch band. Oh, you already found the back, right? Nice. Part of a watch band. What do we call it? Stainless huh? steel. Stainless steel. Well, I'm thinking. What do you think? Okay, should be out now and should be iron. Ooh, maybe not. 1617? What is that? It's a big piece of copper? It is. Well, I think it's part of a cell phone. That's what I think that is. Huh. Oh, there's still something else in here. Is that it? Oh, more of a cell phone. Yeah, that's what that was. Big surface find. It's a big giant hydro flask thing huh. let's see vacuum insulated fixie fixie is what it's called yeah, water actually is pretty clear coming out of it hmm. well we'll get it off the beach put a pirate light oh a right mic sticker on that would actually be pretty cool they actually uh, clean that out and use it. All right, Ugh. I got a little, a little bit of a problem. I've got this giant uh, hydro flask thing stuck to my uh, to my um, neck, and so it's everywhere I don't want it to be right now. But I do have some sort of what sounds to be a low tone. does not sound like iron so it's a little bit of a as you can see this hydro flask thing is really man whatever this is it's deep but it sounds really good so don't mind the hydro flask just gonna be in the shot come on it's making me work for it, whatever it is. Okay, should be out. All right, let's take this thing up. Try to get the hydro flask out of the way. 22. And it sounds amazing. Here, I'll let you guys listen to this. Probably some aluminum of some sort. 21 to 22. Boy, it's 
been a while since I've seen gold, so be really cool. Doesn't need to be big gold. Uh, I think I see a pull tab. I'm pretty sure I see a pull tab. All that for a pull tab. Don't mind my hydro flask, people. People walking by must think I'm weird. With all the stuff hooked to my neck, including my uh, cell phone and my new hydro flask. Surface find. The sun is just setting, but I don't know if you can see it down there's some police activity at the end of the beach. And uh, sun just set. It's, uh, you can see out there, it's kind of like a fog bank coming. We actually have a storm that's supposed to roll in tonight. So that may be the very beginning of the, uh, you know, cold stuff. All of a sudden, like the last five minutes, it definitely started chilling up a bit. But still super pretty. I have no idea what this is, but it's very interesting looking from, uh, from above. Surface find, obviously. What the heck is that thing? Narcan nasal spray. Oh, it's Narcan. So somebody uh, is ODing on fentanyl. It's really wild. They actually got another Narcan thing a while back. Huh. Narcan nasal spray. Looks like it's never been used. Pretty wild. All right. Sun is setting. I'm going to move my hydro flask. Kind of getting a lot of iron grunt, but it does have a nice 75 to it. So we'll see if it's anything. Ooh, I don't like how deep we're going, to be honest with you. Makes me nervous. Yeah, I'll let you guys listen to this. It sounds amazing, but I think it's going to be a can or something really big. Uh, sorry about the hydro flask. Tell you what looks goopy is me with a hydro flask tucked under my uh, arm right now. 85, way down there. Just seems. Oh, come on. Nothing this deep. It can be good. All right. To be out <laughs> and I think it's gonna be a toy car yep toy car green on the top orange on the bottom oh my gosh it's a Monterey magnet man and pirate Mike car cuz I wear green and he wears orange how cute and I can see the Hot Wheels logo I don't know if you can see it but police activity at the end of the uh the end of the berm over there that's actually a military base it's actually a naval weapons station and uh they don't really mess around so a lot of times fishermen try to sneak in there that kind of thing and they get pretty upset so i don't know if that's what's going on or you know we got some hooligans on the beach we definitely got some of those uh red and blue uh flashing lights down there all right here is the wrap up always fun getting out in the island you know it used to be just a ton of old coins out there i don't get nearly as many as i used to i'm kind of bummed that uh daniel didn't find uh the one on his bucket list he literally walked right over it which sucks um i did get some trash as always uh, i got a little bit of a rusty iron nails and whatnot a couple pull tabs a couple of bullet shells a few fishing weights um, I did get a collection of cars. Two weirdest ones being the rabbit car and then the uh, toilet car or toilet truck, which is kind of wild looking. Somebody left the seat up. Uh, did get this little cars car and then uh, just some random Hot Wheels. So a total, I thought I had seven, but I guess it was actually six cars. Um, I did get uh, five pennies, two of which are... are uh, Copper, three are zinc, 
the zincs are on their way to becoming rocks. They literally turn into little rocks on that beach. I think it's just because of the high mineral content. Got two dimes. I got one quarter. I did get one sack of Joey a dollar, which means I did get the cycle a total of, oh, I'm sorry, I did not include another penny. So actually I got six pennies. Um, and uh, I did get a sack of Joey a dollar. I did get this nickel, which is a buffalo nickel, which means I got the super cycle one time. I could not get a date off of it. Um, it was totally tarnished. I did tumble it. And now you can kind of see um, pretty well the uh, the buffalo. So there you go. And um, I did also get two wheat back pennies. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in on these guys. You can kind of see this one. Um, and we'll zoom in on that buffalo head nickel. Again, no date, but uh, you can definitely tell it is a buffalo head nickel. So there you go. Always fun hanging out with Daniel. Always fun hunting with my friends. And uh, again, another trip to the island is always great. All right, here's a wrap up from the second beach. Uh, I got uh, not a lot, to be honest with you, but super fun hanging out with Jim and just getting out there on a beautiful day and metal detecting. It was uh, right before the storm hit. Um, got uh, part of a tin can, a little bit of a can slaw, somebody's cigarette end, soda straws, which are getting less and less, which is kind of nice. I don't find nearly as many of them on the beach as I used to. Not exactly sure why, but it seems like maybe people are actually putting them in trash cans now instead of feeding them to the seagulls. Um, did get this little booze bottle. Uh, got a few plastic bottle caps, but not as many again as I usually find out there, which is nice. Um, I did get part of a cell phone. I did get uh, some iron. I got part of a kid's sunglasses. I got a couple of fishing hooks, a couple of pull tabs. Interesting, I got this. And this is actually a Narcon nasal um, spray so that if somebody's ODing on uh, fentanyl or something, you can actually spray that in their nose and save their life. And I thought I had found another Narcan. It was actually what I found was a fentanyl test a while back. It looked like a COVID test, but it was actually a fentanyl test. Down this, I don't think it's an earring. I think it's just some sort of odd little, you know, twisted piece of metal that maybe was on a, who knows what. We don't know what. A uh, little piece of a spoon. I did get two parts of a watch. Never found the actual watch itself. Uh, I did get three dimes, two pennies. I did get another dollar coin, which I don't find that many of. Um, kind of interesting. So I did not get the cycle. I did not find a quarter or uh, a nickel at any point. Um, and I did get this. This Hot Wheel has my color green on the top. And uh, Daniel, a.k.a. Monterey Magnet Man's color on the bottom. So... I think it's a joint, uh, a joint uh, Hot Wheel that uh, they made uh, to commemorate our wonderful metal detecting, which is absolutely not true. Obviously, Mattel could care less. I did also keep the Hydro Flask, and I did put a Pirate Mike sticker on it. So um, I keep it for my electric bike. It's a perfect size to fit in my electric bike cup holder. So I do have that, and uh, it was completely clean. So the water I poured out was uh, clean water. And then if you go right here, you can actually go on my uh, on my YouTube channel directly for my QR code. How cool is that? Also, if you guys are interested in CKG products, you guys can go to the description of this video. I also have Tony Eisenhower's uh, connection if you want some great waterproof headphones. All right, a lot of people have asked me how to get a Pirate Mike t-shirt. And for a long time, I was trying to you know, ship them from here. And oftentimes, I didn't order enough to have the right sizes for people and it was getting just cost prohibitive and the shipping was crazy expensive. And um, so I did uh, get to a point where, and also my printer said he couldn't make the small batches I was ordering. So um, I did set it up where you can go directly on to our, um, I did set it up where you can directly link from all my videos to uh, Spring. And Spring uh, has all sorts of cool stuff like check my coffee out. Pretty cool. Um and you can get all the stuff on the Spring site, and uh, I will try to set up a link where you guys can uh, just go ahead and click at the end of the video. But if I don't have that up soon, just know that all the videos do have a link to the uh, 
shirts. If you have problems finding it, go ahead and put it in the comment, and I'll uh, see if I can get you a direct link to it. Hey, guys. Pirate Mike here. just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I have no idea why I do this, but every time I find a half dollar at the beach, I stick it in my eye. Again, I sure hope you like my channel, and thank you again for watching and for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. love it if you guys would subscribe you can just click on my head right here or you can watch either of these two videos